Matt, the chance to pick one up, and yes. he does. And he does, very nice. We got two men tied for the lead and one man behind going Still to the tight. next hole. All right, Matt, we're moving on to basket 14, a par three, 285 feet. And hey, this hole's changed from last year also. It was back farther to the left. Now it's right up against the water. Matt goes over the water. Bringing it in. It's a great shot just behind. Right there. Oh, that was a great shot. Now these guys are throwing no more than a mid-range again here, Cubby. Well, if just want to throw, throw it out there and then Stevie. see the rain coming down during the round. Yeah, come, come in. Oh, Nicely great done. shot right there. There's not a lot of room for error here, man. No, you got to throw it right. Bringing it in. Looks and good. Right, a little left. But it's safe. You definitely want to be left, but let me tell you. You got the, the water look when you're the coming The water back. right behind it. There's, there's no safety net behind you there. Dave nice, bringing it in. Nice cut shot nice there. Nice shot. Beauty. Right. Rain falling. Water behind. Nico. Put it in. No chains required. Flips over the rim. Great you got the water behind him. That's a tough putt. That's a great birdie. Very nice. You can see Dave's got the water behind him, but he's closer. Great focus. And dead center. Nicely done. Very appreciative gallery, I'm telling you. They're really enjoying the play by these league group here. Well, they're seeing some great disc golf, too, Matt. They know it. All right, Matt finishes Birdies up. Birdies for everybody. Star, star frame. Star frame. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're on to basket 15. This is a par 3, 225 feet. Oh, this is, this is it's a, almost in my range. Yeah, Cubby, it's definitely one I feel I can get. <laughs> it's, it's a little left to right. These guys aren't throwing more than a mid-range or a putter. You just want to get right down there and skip up the hill towards the pin. Because oh, it's got a nasty drop-off, as you see. Mm. So uh, these guys just kind of stand and deliver. Probably like the plane, it is an approach shot. Coming in, it's a beautiful shot there. Going, oh, that's fine. I think they're trying to feel the shot. That's a that's nice a throw there. Going toss. right, that should be coming back nicely. Look at that. Oh, perfect. right there. Valet parking. Hello. Let's see if these guys can, all four of them get through. Another good shot. There we go. Great shots here now. Steve first up. He's a good 40 feet with nothing behind you. A little jumper. Oh, nice. Steve knew it. Steve knew he had that one right off the release. Good shot. Nice putt, Steve Bridster. That arm from about 25. Nicely done. Around the tree and in. And birdies again. Another star frame. Yeah, they are definitely putting Two's on the around. show. Okay, we're going to move on to basket 16. This is a par 4, 485 this feet. This hole can make a difference here. There's OB everywhere, as you see. OB left, OB right. Well-protected pin, and you got to be precise off the tee. Another team. narrow gap, but there's trees there that can catch you. Very happy about that's that. Right that's right down the middle. That's money. Oh, almost move, took fellas. somebody out. <laughs> Get out of the way. Steve, these guys are throwing drivers. Most of them got their drivers. They're trying to really get up this fairway. He yanks a little bit to the right early. Just caught a tree. Hopefully he got inbounds. Nico taking his time here. Well, you know, it's he's got, focused. These guys have three holes to go. They're playing for a lot of money. And of course, the prestige. Great rip. And you could hear the snap of that disc coming out of his hand. Oh, that is unbelievable. Beautiful shot. It's a huge drive. Huge. Got to cross the wall there, down there. You should have an easy approach. Matt, I like these tees. That's pretty nice, Covey. That's another butte. Wow. Great drive. 
These guys are putting on his That's show. That's a good view. You can see the basket between that uh, Y tree. He's there going he goes to the right bit. of it, bringing it up. Uh, it looks like a beautiful draw. Smart there play there. Great job. Dave with that strong drive. And if he's thinking about going at this, he is. Good jump putt. Left a little right, but it's covered right in. Should have no problem. Look at that. Boy, these drives are incredible. Because if you ever played this course and you see where these guys are throwing from. And that's wow. right there. Beautiful. Now you know why they're they can birdie up. hole after hole oh, after absolutely. hole. All right, and the gallery moves on with the crowd. And we had three birdies and it's still on still tight, there. Matt. It's... Uh, Wow. Going down to the wire here as we move on to uh, basket number 17. This is a par three, 430 wow, feet. Monster left to right. Monster left to right high up over these trees down to a drop-off pin. For mere mortals like you and I, this is a par four. This is a par three for these guys. That's a and huge that's a good shot rip coming left in. To right. That should be just ideal. Just play, you know, it's really hard to play for the two here. I think we remember seeing Nico hit a two here last year, and it was a long, long jump putt. I'm sure he's not going to hold back. We went high up on that, and that's curling around. Oh, oh. Look at that wow. one. Wow. Wow, we shredded the needle. He rolled back a little bit. He's in a good spot, though. Now, Dave, you know, one behind, two to go, but he's got to give it all. Oh, it gets through with a nice roll. That's not going to help. Oh, he's into some of the camping. That thing took off. Yeah. He's, he went into some of the camp Might be in there. somebody's sleeping bag. Yeah, I hope he didn't wake anybody. <laughs> well, really hope there's no one to sleep at this point, Cubby. I hear you. All right, well, Stevie will wake him up with a drive here. He can certainly let it rip. And he gets up right in there. Good. Nicely done. That's beautifully played. Perfect position to get up and down. Now, here's Dave from the campsite. Hopefully, they left him a burger on the grill if he was hungry. <laughs> so, he could play a spike hyzer over the top of Boy, everything. Boy, he really sent that high. Coming in. There's Matt Orham. Looks like he's got an AVR. He's got to thread it through there. He's trying to lay it up. That's all. Nice touch. Just want to get up there. Beauty shot. Good shot, Matt. Brandon Nino, Nico, no time at all. Puts it right there. He was going for it, but he's right there. You can just see it. Now, here's Dave. This will be a great three after being way left. And he's yeah, a happy yeah. camper. Wow. It's nicely done. All right, Matt's going to finish up on his third yeah. shot here. Matt just took the more conventional route, middle of the fairway, Matt, lay up, move with on. with a solid putting performance here. And I see Nico's shot right there, too. And finishes no up. Problems. No problem there. A bunch of pars on that hole. Well, we're down to the wire here, Matt, as we wow. move on to hole 18. This wow, is last I can't chance believe this saloon. is unbelievable. Three men going for first place on hole 18, par 4, OB right, OB long. 605 feet. OB behind the basket. It's just phenomenal. But here's a chance to really air it out. Make a statement. Matty Orham. What a rip. Sends it up there. Far enough. He's up there. Nico. You can see the fire. Nico is still fired up here. He's going to really. He looks like he's not letting back. Oh, he rips one up high. Just tore into that and drive. And it's going. It's going. It is a spectacular drive by Nico LoCastro. He's put the pressure on. Dave needs to maintain here. He needs to stay with these guys. He wants a chance. He's got to hope they make a Boy, mistake. Dave launched that one. Wow. What a crush. All right, he hit one of the many Christmas trees on the way up there, though. Steve Brinster. Got lots of power. Sends another one high. Spotter looks wow, at the crosses like overhead. Now Dave needs to get this inside the island green here. Coming in. 
No, a little early. He's OB. Oh, tough break there. Now, Matty Orm back in the Christmas trees with the upshot. Need to get in here, Matt. Oh, oh no. Denied. He's OB. OB. Wow, two tough breaks there. Wow, man. Nico here with a chance. Chance he's been waiting for since last year. Look at and that. And he puts and it right there. Nico Castro. That's going to do it there, that Matt. That is was it beautiful. right there. These guys are just looking to save par. Nico's got a drop in. A good view on that putt as he. Trying to make it. Oh. Just skirted by the chains. I see someone shot right there. And now Dave Felberg to save his bogey. You may recognize Dave from the Conan O'Brien show where he was showcasing disc golf. And Nicely done, Dave. Great ambassador of our sport, Absolutely. David Felberg. New way elected to the PGA board. Look nice guy. Lots of things happen from him. A and good Matt tournament, Matt. A great event. Solid performance. And Stevie Brinster puts out. Nice three, Stevie, to finish. Very nice, Steve. Here we go, Nicola Castro. The 2010 Vibram Open Disc Golf yeah. Tournament champion right what there. What a battle. Way to go, Nico. Nice that was performance. spectacular. You know, this isn't like all for they throw the ball away. I know nobody's no. throwing their putter away. No, look at that gallery. That's oh, all beautiful. beautiful. All right, well, you got it right there, Matt. Look, 163. Nico wins by two over Matt Orham, one over Dave Felberg and Steve Brinster at 173. All right, Matt, we're going to go down now with an interview with Terry Miller with the 2010 Vibram Open champion, Nico LaCastro. Nico LaCastro, your 2010 Vibram champion, Nico. How do you feel? It feels really good to be here right now. Uh, it was a really close battle. I played with some very competitive players, some, some good friends on my card. Had good vibes the whole time. I'm just, I'm very proud to win my second national tour this year, and uh, this, this was a great one to win. I'm just, I'm glad everyone could see me here. You played strong. You started even with a bogey today. I did. I had a couple. What was the difference matches. out there? What, what gave you the win? I threw a couple really good up shots. I got myself in bad positions off the tee pad, but I, I had some really good scrambles. Maybe some of the best saves in my whole life. My up shot on 12 could have been one of the greatest shots I've ever thrown. Seriously, it was mostly scrambling and a couple nice putts down the home stretch. Absolutely perfect. Well, we wish you the best. Yeah! Of you did awesome. Woo! Nico LaCastro, yes! 2010 Vibram Open champion. <laughs> Awesome job. Awesome, thank you. Oh, yeah. And I want to thank my sponsor, uh, Gateway Disc Sports, Pro Disc Golf, Dynamic Disc, Utopia Disc Golf, ADA Fitness. Uh, I'd just like to thank everybody one more time for being here today. I appreciate you guys. Filming. Congratulations, Nico. Spectacular. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Got every sponsor in the supermarket there. Yeah. Nice job, Nico LaCastro. Great job. There you go. And there they are looking over to up there in the scoring tent. All right, we're going to go to break and we'll wrap up this great event. Matt Nico takes it this year. What a fantastic performance. Wow. What an unbelievable finish. You know, it was really nip and tuck between uh, Nico, Dave, and Matt coming down in the end. It was a shame Matt had to throw out of bounds there. But Nico took advantage of that, his misfortune, and it was his good fortune. And they all displayed great skills. It was a great round, man. Wow, it was an amazing thing. Kudos to the camera work for Kevin McGorry and all those involved there up uh, with the uh, Vibram Open, Steve Dodge. Unbelievable action. Well, I think the players really showcased disc golf well at this event, Matt. And uh, once again, our congratulations to everybody that put on the event, uh, the tournament director, all the volunteers that just did a great job. And there was quite a gallery out uh, there, too, it Matt. It was following. really nice to see. If you see in the background, those are people watching disc golf, folks. It is the future. Get ready. Well, that's great. I'm Carl Cubbage, and I'm with World Class Disc Golf for Matt LaCourt. For Disc Golf Monthly, the show that takes you one step closer to the exciting sport of disc golf.